Hello and welcome to day 29 of this Lent 102 series. Today's topic is faithfulness and honesty. So what is faithfulness? According to Google, faithfulness is loyalty, devotion, and fidelity. I'll also add in consistency because you can't be loyal without being repetitive. What is honesty? According to Google, honesty is being upright, open, and true, which are all attributes of God, all leading attributes of God. Now, how does this apply to us as Christians? Well, the very name Christians is to be Christ-like. And in being Christ-like, we must emulate and imitate all of the attributes that are associated with God. So in doing so, we must house the fruits of the Spirit. We can learn more about the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5, 22 to 26. Galatians 5, 22, 26 says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such, there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the spirit, let us keep in step with the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Now that verse alone, those verses alone, list perfectly how we as Christians should act. And as that scripture has just said, we do need to embody all of the faces of God, including faithfulness and honesty. If we do not, we are henceforth entertaining things of the flesh, which are not of God, and repeatedly in the Bible referred to as darkness. And what is called to light cannot be dark. Hence why we must stay clear from entertaining such things and such habits of the world because we are called to a higher purpose and a higher standard. Now, why this is so important to our Christian walks is the fact that as Christians, we are examples and we are exempt employees of Christ. Let me break that down. Within a company, when you are employed by a company, as soon as you put on that work uniform, you are henceforth a representative of Christ. Everything you do in that company represents that brand, which is why so many companies don't like you wearing their uniform outside of those four walls. The same thing with being a Christian. The moment we openly declare that we are Christians and that we walk with God is the minute that our actions and the ways that we think should truly reflect that of our makers. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do we know how best to live as Christians? We look to Jesus Christ as he lived a holy and acceptable life in the eyes of God. Now, if there's one thing I want you to take from this, it's this. That number one, people are always watching, regardless of whether they be Christians or heathen or Gentile. And the way that we act needs to be completely in line with the words of God. Because number two, people are always watching. And we usually not want to give anyone the opportunity to stand and look at us and say, but I thought you were Christian. That is an ultimate blunder to the kingdom of God. When we go about our day-to-day lives, we need to be in constant reflection thinking, is this appropriate? Does this represent my maker? Is this representing God in the light that he expects me to represent him in? And if it does not, then we truly need to cut it out of our regime. Thank you for watching. And I hope that this has assisted you. Thank you for tuning in to day 29 of this Lent 102 series. Please make sure you're following us on all of our social media at Morningstar London, where we will be posting daily content to help you through this Lenten season. Thank you and God bless.